Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, people. Good evening. How are you today? Ready? Ready good for, evening. for the start. Okay, that's great. Luis Miguel, that's good. That is the attitude. Okay. Okay, Maria, hello. Andrea Dayanara. Hello, everyone. Hello. How was your day? Good? It was a good day. Yes, okay, that's nice. And the, the week is almost over, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to... We wait for this to load. Okay, where did we stop yesterday, people? Infinitives. And imperatives. Okay, so yeah. So remember, we also had the, the, the gerunds, right? So we have infinitive forms. Okay, good. I'll share my... My screen. Okay, so remember this is the, the second one saying in this class you will practice the infinitives, gerunds, uh, for uses of purpose, right? So which is something that, you know, is really, I mean, uh, different from talking about uh, reasons, right? Because when we talk about reasons, we give like more uh, explanations, right? So we have to give for example the the explanation that we have to give is uh with a lot of details but when we talk about you know a purpose that that is more go straight to the point right for example why do you study english uh, teacher, uh -huh. teacher uh, ana martinez is writing in in, in, in the chat. chat thank you is she, is, she, is she here? It says good evening, teacher. Uh, okay, no, Anna. Where are you, Anna? Can you speak now? Say something now. Can you? Can you hear me? Right. Yes. If you do, right. No. If you don't, I mean, just. Can you hear me, Anna? Yeah, she is. In I think, yes, she is, but I, uh, let me see. Herber. Oh, Herbert, can, can you say something, Herbert? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, yes. I see, for example, Herbert, your microphone is open, but no problem. And Anna Martinez is also open, but. She's not as, right now, she's not speaking. No, and I can't hear you. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes, now, yes. Now, yes? Yeah. Okay, thank okay. you. That's good. All right. So we were having some technical problems. They have been resolved. Good. Thank you, Luis Miguel. Okay, so then, uh, as I was saying, very right, for example, when you say, um, "Do why do you that, why do you study English?" Sometimes we can go with a long explanation. 
Well, because it is a, a good, uh, it is a language that can help me to get a better job, give me more opportunities, and then blah, 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 right? But when we talk about purposes is, for example, why do you study English? You say, for example, to get a better job, to have more opportunities, uh, to, to take the TOEFL test and go to the United States and study, uh, to, to learn about the English culture. And then you go specific to the point, okay, of what you really want to express, all right? So then that's what you will see in this video. Let's watch it. And if you have any questions, let me know, okay? Check the sound. Video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning that. Can you listen very well? Yes. Doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. Okay, so this is with a general, I use my cell phone for calling. I use my cell phone for sending emails. I use my cell phone for making calls. I use my, my cell phone for uh, checking my social networks. Uh, I use my cell phone for... Uh, but for for business for my business, in which one you are going to use a noun, you don't use the verb. Okay. Now, do you have any questions about this? When you use two and when we use four. Let me show you the other one before. Okay, to express uses and purposes. Okay, meaning of use and purpose doesn't change the position, the structure of the words changes. Said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds. Said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to. Okay. So if you see, I use my cell phone to, to call. And in the, when we use for, I use my cell phone for calling. Why, uh, <clears throat> why is the change of ing? Because remember that for is a preposition. Okay, for is a preposition. Then in after prepositions, we always, always, if we are going to use a verb, that verb has to be in ing form. Okay, always. Then when you say, for example, uh, before, before continuing with this class, before telling you about the next topic, before is a preposition, and if I use a verb, before telling, before coming, before continuing, so I'm going to use the verb in ing. Okay, after finishing this class, 
okay, after graduating from high school, after finishing my career, so then after is a preposition, then we use also the verb in ing. That happens with all the prepositions before, after, in, on, a, with, without, okay? So then we're going to use it in that way. Let me see the chat, somebody's, okay, oh yeah. Okay, good. So then uh, this is with the infinitive form. Plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer. Okay, so we cannot swap, okay? We cannot switch. I use my computer to sending is incorrect. I use my computer to send, oh. yes. I use my computer for sending and not for sending. Okay, so this is the one that is not correct. For send emails. Okay, so we have a little practice here. So we have five, six sentences to complete, right? Um, the first one is satellites. Satellites are used to study the worst weather, to study in the worst weather, and for to study. Which one is grammatically correct? First to study to study the world's weather. To study the world's weather. Yeah. Weather. Yeah, that's the first one. one. We have, we have uh, uh, the context. Exactly, right? The context and also the form, right? To study, infinitive, not to study in, and not for to study. You know, this one in the lower level sometimes is very common to listen to this mistake, okay, when we are learning. I say, I came here for to study, okay, but then uh, now we know, for example, the correct form, right? So this is good that you are discriminating now. Robots are sometimes used for perform, to performing, or for perform. For performing, for performing dangerous tasks. Okay, for performing dangerous tasks, right? What are these used for? So you can use a cell phone. To send text messages. To send text messages, that's send right. Send messages. Okay, good. Four. People use the internet. The first one making for making travel reservations. For making travel reservations. Yeah. DNA fingerprints. Mm -hmm. To identify to identify criminals. The first one again. The first one. Yes. The third one. What is the difference with the third one? I don't. I don't know. What it's a first? mistake. It's, it's a mistake uh -huh. in what? the criminal. Ah, yes. Uh huh. There is a, a spelling mistake. Okay, yeah. a spelling mistake. This is criminals, right? This is criminals. Okay, very good. You see, this is tricky, okay? It's a tricky sentence. So it's the first one. CD Next one, CD-ROMs. 
for storing I used it data. for storing and an inside encyclopedia. Okay. What is a CD-ROM? Oh. Who knows that? Let me see. What is a CD-ROM? The mother of the computer? No, I don't know. No, not the motherboard? Yeah, the motherboard computer. No. no the motherboard, but it's the disk. It's the it's the a, disc. It, it's a it's disc. A, well, disc. now I think that now there are no more CD ROMs, right? Maybe, but is is it's rare. Compact disc. Uh huh. CD ROM. CD. Okay, a CD ROM was uh they before long time ago when the well, yes, yeah. maybe <laughs> maybe no twenty years now. maybe for young people maybe CD ROMs are now it's like the cds you no know, cds young people don't don't use cds anymore because no, no. now we have the the usb i uh, had a usb or the platforms right like spotify and itunes and stuff like that so we don't use the cds anymore remember the cars used to have a cd player the computers used to have a cd rom to yeah. to to read the, the the information. But for example, my computer now doesn't have a CD-ROM. Okay, so then it's no more. And after the cassette. <laughs> uh-huh, yes. Before that, there was a cassette. Yes. And, and before that, there were cartridges. Did you, do you know what that? Is the, what is cartridges? A cartridge, do you know a cartridge? I a don't. cartridge was bigger than a cassette and thicker yeah yeah, uh -huh. yeah. and then they use them in the radios in the radio yeah. stations they have yeah, the, car yeah. the cartuchos they call them it was like the and then they have it was big like this yeah, and yeah. then it was like this thick and then they they introduce it in the deck and they play the music after that yeah. they use the cassette yeah. and but, but I but this is after or before the vinilos this um after almost after no vinyl. that was before i guess it was before then you have the uh, before, the records before. yeah the records the records the uh, black the cassette uh -huh. they and then after they have the cassette yes so then you have um, the cartridge the records the vinilos right the records and uh, they have 45 and 33 the long play yeah okay yeah. yes so imagine long time ago my goodness I, I, I am very old now <laughs> if <laughs> i know if i know that if i if i just that that means that i am old okay i have i have we have uh uh I don't know how can I say a CD player? No, 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 no. A record player? A record player? Uh, Play disc. Uh -huh, a, re a record uh, player? Tocadico. Yes. Uh -huh. have, my dad, my dad, my father has a a record disc. A, re a record yeah. player. Uh, my record dad too. Uh -huh. My yes, dad. Yes, really. That's very nice. I used to have a uh, one, but you know it it, it broke, and then yeah, yeah, but it was a record player. It had a collection. A collection. Yeah. Remember, uh, I remember mm -hmm. that many years mm -hmm. ago, in the parties when we made parties, you know the the mm -hmm. there was one that said, "No, I I play the music," and this guy, you know, used to have a a whole bunch of uh, long plays like this. <laughs> he was yeah. he was carrying yeah. in a box. In a, 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 a box full of records, you know, with long plays. Yeah. And... In a backpack. In a backpack. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. In a back... But it was I mean, no. really big, you know, it was heavy. They carry all the music. In a big bag. Uh huh. Yes, it was a big bag with a big box. Yeah. So it was, yeah. yeah. And now, and you say, and now you go, okay, I'm going to play the music, you know, with your, your cell phone. You just have a iTunes, Spotify. And then you, and you have Bluetooth, right? Yeah. You have Bluetooth, you know, to to play it. And the cassette, yes. you have uh -huh. to, uh, with a pen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> you know, when when it got when it yeah. got stuck, you put the pen and it started. Yeah. 
to rewind to rewind it para rebobinarlo, right? Oh, to rewind yeah. it. The cassette, it and was... sometimes with the cassette you were the 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 the, the uh, this jockey was like this, you know, with the cassette. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, good times. <laughs> yeah. Okay, those were the good times. Yeah. Yo, imagine I, I, I see Andrea Andrea Dayanari is like, what are these people talking about? <laughs> right. Uh, you were right. you were you were wondering, right? Okay, no yeah. worries. <laughs> no, this is all a school talk. <laughs> okay, yes. No, I mean I I usually when the, when these topics I usually use it because I know that young people there are many things that you haven't used or that you haven't seen, right? Mm -hmm. So, but it was very interesting. Yes. You know, I only I only saw the CD. Only yes, that. Uh -huh. Imagine you started this. Mm -hmm. You didn't see the cassettes. You didn't play the cassettes. Still, no. <laughs> and the, the vinyls. No. No. Okay. So imagine. And so you I, love them. Yes. You missed a great thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mine. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's okay. If, but if you, I guess that if you see one now, you will be like, wow, this is nice. Because, I have you know, one. Like, uh, decoration. I don't know how. Just for decoration, uh -huh. just decoration. for decoration. <laughs> uh -huh. It doesn't work. No. Uh -huh. it doesn't yeah, work. but but if you see one one time, you know how the the vinyl sounded. They sounded really nice. It had a very yeah. obviously obviously the the CD the compact is what had more fidelity, right? The high fidelity uh -huh. was better, but the vinyls were really good, especially yeah, when they right? were very new. Mm -hmm. The problem, the problem was that like, they they usually had a scratch. Mm. When you scratch them, the problem mm -hmm. is it was that you know when it was playing, it was repeating the same thing. <laughs> and I was, and I was, and I was because it, there was a scratch, mm -hmm. so it didn't it didn't advance, so it stayed uh, okay. in the same place. That was the only problem with mm -hmm. that. Only has a four song, right? Four, four? or five song. Oh, the okay. no the. The the forty five had two, one on each side, oh, yeah, and yeah. the long plays sometimes they had ten or yeah. two, five on one side yeah. and five on the other. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So then there were like yeah. ten songs, no rest. Yeah. I have yeah. a neighbor that I've you, just listening listening just one song because the the long player mm -hmm. <laughs> is. A crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all a scratch and then only one son. Yeah, only one son. You know, the problem with the all long day, play, all day. <laughs> oh my God. Poor poor Anna. <laughs> Another world. Yes, that was a different world. Okay, nice. Now uh let's say this is nostalgia uh, memory on block. Okay, so now we have the next one. So it says, uh, notice the practice of stress in words with more than two syllables, okay? So then listen to this. Pronunciation, syllable stress. Part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Okay. Uh, let me see, Amanda. Would you please read this, the, the words like satellite, internet, photograph, invention, okay, assignment, computer, CD-ROM, engineer, entertain. Okay, Amanda. Well, we cannot hear you. Ah, very. Can you uh 
speak a little bit louder, get closer to the mic. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hola. Now more or less. Say something. No. no. Sorry. Okay. No problem. Okay. But then pay attention to, to the listening. Andrea, would you please satellite internet uh, satellite 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 internet photograph invention assignment computer CD room engineer entertain uh, i don't Entr entertain 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 yes. what those mean that you know for example that when you have supposed uh let's say two kids in the house and oh, they are okay. they are bored so you have okay. to find some activities to keep them busy right to entertain okay. them yeah good okay uh maria oh satellite internet Photograph, invention, invention, assign, huh? invention, assignment, computer, 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 city room, engineer, entertain, entertain. Good. Uh, Anna. Uh, Saturday, internet, photograph. Invention, assignment, computer, serum, engineer, entertain. Okay, engineer and entertain. Good. Luis Miguel. Michelle, I uh, uh about uh -huh. the assignment is cinema uh task. Um let me see. Mm. Yeah, somehow, yes. Uh, the only thing, there is a difference that when sometimes it is uh, from a school, they usually use assignment, right? But uh, in the house, you can like assign, uh -huh, you can assign a homework and you can assign a task. Yes. I ask you because I, uh, we, we, uh, we saw the ask and the sentences that we made, uh, uh, right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, when you say, for example, the, assi have to, the assignment. Okay. Yes, assignment is like a task. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Okay, okay. Luis Miguel. Okay. Yes, satellite. Sat satellite. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. 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 Computer. See the room, engineer, 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 engineer and entertain, entertain, entertain. Yes, I say entertain. Okay, good. Uh, let me see, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca. Can you hear me? Okay, Angel. Now your microphone is on, Angel, but we don't hear you. Yes. Probably have a problem with the microphone because I can see that it's on, but there is no sound. Okay, fix it, fix it, and let me know. Okay, okay, good. So, and we're going to continue with this. Just remember the the procedure, right? With this, and engineer, entertain. Where is the stress in these words? 
Can you pronounce them? Okay, this one, for example. Languages. Uh -huh. How do you pronounce this one? Languages. Language. Uh -huh. Language. Languages. Language. This one? Understand. 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 The next one? Robotics. 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 The next one? Telephone. Telephone. Okay, telephone. Then we have? Transmission. Transmission. And then? VCR. 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 Okay, they are. Transmission. Okay, remember? Transmission. Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR. Okay, here we have <clears throat> the imperatives. This is what we were talking about, right? And infinitives. Here we go. That was a quick review. Hi again. Listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Sorry, right Make sure now. to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. As many times as you need to. Good luck. Again, Listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't, can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, so we have, can I borrow? Can, okay, I, borrow? can, can I borrow your pen, please? Yeah. Can I borrow your book, please? Right, so these are the, um, okay, different yeah. ways to ask for something that is no use. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Okay, here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? Okay, Michelle, first, uh-huh. Excuse me, uh, borrow is like uh, lead, no. Like? Lead, it's like a L lead. Uh, lend. The verb, the verb lend. And when you will say, okay, you let me your, Lend, like that. Lend, lend. Uh -huh, like in the chat, in the chat, lend. No, let. Um, not really. Oh. How about it? It depends on the context, I guess. 
For example, the, if I say let, a borrow is the word that you use to ask uh, a kind of permission to a person to let you lose something that belongs to her or to him. Okay, for example, uh, if I say, let me see your phone. Okay, let me see your phone. This is like, give me permission to see your phone. Okay. And when I say, uh, can I borrow is, can I take, can I take your cell phone? Okay, this is uh, when you use, can I borrow? Can I borrow your cell phone? It means, can I take your cell phone? But obviously, I'll take it to use it and then return. Okay, that is the difference between uh, and let is like, for example, let me use it. So permit, give permission. Okay, let is to give permission. So it's similar, but probably less uh, very informal when you say let. Okay, hey, let me use your car. Okay. Let me use your car, okay? Can I borrow your car? Okay. What is something that uh, that is something that you like very much? Probably your uh, a tablet or your computer. And then uh, then somebody comes and say, let me use your computer. Mm -mm, no, nobody touches my computer, just me. Okay, something that you appreciate a lot for a tablet or a cell phone. Usually the cell phone, right? The cell phone is something very personal now. Okay, because now in a cell phone, you have uh, bank accounts, emails, uh, uh, probably no uh, private things. Okay, so then you can say, you cannot let people use your phone. Uh, you can borrow to make a call, it's different. Okay, any other question about vocabulary? This image does not look very good. Here, more or less. Oh, but it still looks, looks blurry. Could you please... Um, to put the blackboard more The image. Like this. Okay, no problem. It doesn't look well, the letters. Yes, that's what I'm, uh, it looks blurry, right? So it was Russo. That's why I was trying to, to find another image that I don't, that I don't see it. No, maybe. Just give me one more second to check. It's a bit blurry. Uh huh. It looks blurry. Let me try. Let me try to find another one solution. I can find this because I cannot read very well either. Sometimes also the okay looks slow, right? 
Why not? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. I, I can hear you. I'm just trying to to find another probably another connection too. Maybe is the internet, but no. Okay. So I'm going to try to play it from and we can hear. Okay, I can see the number, but first of all, be sure to turn it on. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna use the listening. Now, what do I need to do? Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Okay, this is Frank. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. It says, I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go, thanks. Now, what do I need to do? Now, what do I need to do? To do. Any questions so far? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And first of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. That is because you have not pressed the call button, right? Oh, good. It's ringing. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get... Try not to get too excited. You probably this voicemail. Hi, this is. You probably get the it uh, says the voicemail, right? You're right. It's a recording. Sorry, you say you're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave. Okay. Uh, let me see. You're right. It's a record button. Make sure you hit the end button. Leave our conversation on his voicemail. Okay. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay. Who is the owner of the phone? Oh. The girl or the boy? The boy. The boy. The boy, right? The boy. The and boy. who are they calling? Um, Her boss. Her boss, right? The girls, the girl's boss. Okay, what is what is the first thing that she has to do? Uh, to dial the number, the phone number. Okay, dial the first number. The phone number? Mm, no, before that. Oh, the uh, area code. And before that? To it. Uh -huh. to it, to it, to it. Yes, Herbert. Phone. Turn it on. Okay, turn on the phone. This is very old, right? Turn it uh -huh. on. Then? Then and dial, dial the number. The number five. Uh -huh. Then the area code. Then dial the area code, then the number. And then? 
Press what? And press uh, call. Call bottom, the send bottom, right? Call bottom. And after that, when she finishes the call, yes, Anna? Okay, make sure you hit what button? Finished. The end button, right? Yes. Hit the end button, right? So don't forget end the end button to end the call. Now, for example, nowadays, the things have changed. Now they have a color buttons, right? It's a green button or a red button. And then you know when to continue or when to stop the call. Okay, so remember that this this uh this material is very old. Uh, mm -hmm. Andrea, you are the young people, the young girl in this class, the youngest, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, which was the first cell phone that you had? A uh, BlackBerry. Oh, really? You had a BlackBerry? No, I can't believe that. Yes. Okay, the BlackBerry was like the... No, no, not the first one, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, maybe a, the modern uh, it was the like in the middle, one, right? The modern mm -hmm. uh, cell phone. Yes. The no, because first. in the in the BlackBerry you had the send and end button, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, because now the, you don't buttons. have you don't have the yes that you have to press mm -hmm. or, or hit. That's why they use the the word press because you have to press mm -hmm. and push but now it's only just touch right it's, it's different yeah okay good now by the way do you know do you know the meaning of blackberry mm, the meaning uh-huh uh, i don't know blackberry <laughs> uh -huh. it was flat the cell phone a fruit uh -huh. <laughs> a fruit <laughs> blackberry i don't know it's uh, no, it's not a fruit. Uh, it's, uh, oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get it's too uh, excited. Huh? It's like... Uh, okay. I'll show you the image. Okay. That's a fruit. This mm -hmm. is the cell phone. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute. You will see this. Look at this. This is a blackberry. Oh, okay. And this is this is the meaning, right? Uh, look, the blackberry. Era porque nos iba a esclavizar, right? <laughs> and this blackberry. Uh, look, this is remember the black people. Mm -hmm. Okay, the black people when they were slaves, cuando eran esclavos, they had the blackberry. Okay, so they had a big ball so that they didn't escape. So yeah, they now, yeah. and then the name of the cell phone was BlackBerry. Uh, you know, to just to make a reference to this. Porque ahora todos mm -hmm. andamos con un cell phone en la mano, como que fuera un BlackBerry. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like, like this. So if we want to move, we have to carry the cell phone. Right? Mm -hmm. so, then, so they related to that. So that was the BlackBerry. I mean, futuristic and, but it was true, right? Okay. So then uh, we have this issue with can I borrow? Remember that the word can I borrow is a. Prestar. Prestar, right? And can you lend me, lend is a, me puedes dar prestar, right? So you can use the two forms. Can you lend yeah. me 
ten dollars or the difference is can you lend me? Can you lend me? And the other one is can can I borrow? Okay. This the form is different. Can I borrow? Can I take money from you? Can I borrow ten dollars? Or can you lend me ten dollars? Okay. Good. So then we have the how to use imperatives and infin infinitives for giving suggestions. I hope this one is better. Hello everyone. Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Okay, these are expressions that I, that I that you know uh, I use a lot, right? As a teacher, I give you instructions. Uh, like, you know, for example, uh, be sure to practice, make sure to use, don't forget to think, don't forget to speak English, don't forget this, okay? Remember to do your English homework, uh, try to pronounce properly, try to practice every day. So these are, you don't have to say, uh, it's different if I say, uh, Byron, uh, don't forget to think in English. Uh, if I say, uh, Mercy, remember to do your English homework. Uh, Dayanara, try to pronounce properly. Okay, uh, Maria, be sure to practice with your friends. And then I'm more specific with the person, right? But uh, in this case, it's only in general. Okay, I say, don't, okay, don't forget to think in English. This is for everybody. Okay. Mark, try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Okay, so if you say, for example, make sure to forget your dictionary. Okay, in this case, it's like, a, like you know, when you are giving a bad instruction to a person, okay? Then uh, when you say, for example, make sure not, when you want to make it negative, you're gonna use make sure not to, okay? Make sure not to for, not to fall asleep in class, okay? They, you know, the teenagers sometimes in the morning, they are sleeping in the classroom, right? 
So you have to say, make sure not to fall asleep in class. Uh, make sure uh, not to uh, eat in class. Okay. Then you have to say, remember not to eat in class. Remember not to speak to your partners, to your classmates in class. Okay. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Okay. Now in the chat, let's try to write a couple of words of sentences, okay, using imperative forms, okay? Try in the chat, for example, uh, don't speak Spanish in class, okay? Don't, uh, you can use affirmative, right? Turn on your cameras, everybody, okay? Uh, don't, uh, what else, something that is not good? Don't forget to, don't forget to, to what? Don't forget to get up early. Okay, while well, you write a couple of sentences, I will just check the attendance. So we have Amanda. Present teacher. Yes, Amanda is here. Anna Beatriz is here. Bayanara is here. Mercy is here. Uncle Isaac. Uncle, 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 and so on. Uncle left, but he was here. Hey, Byron. Present. No, Byron is here, yes. Sister Ivan. Sir Ivan. Oh, Rauda, right? Sister Rauda. Hello, Sister. Dennis. I'm here. I'm yes. here. Dennis Adonai. Dennis, no. Then we have Herbert Adan. Yes, Herbert. Present. Yes, Present. Herbert's here. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, no. And then we have Catherine Johanna. She was here only the first class. Kenya Jamilet. Miss Miguel is here. Present. Yes. Okay, then we have Maria Deni. Maria Delmi, yes. Martin de Jesus. I'm um, here. Martin too, yes. Nuria Saray, no. Rebecca Abigail, yes. And yes. Yes. And Stephanie Michelle, right? Okay, good. How many sentences did you write? Teacher. Yes, Martin. Yesterday and um, and the Monday you passed the attendance. Yes. Um, and um, I am sick in the la in the last minute I I I sleeping and I don't I don't respond the the attendance teacher. Yeah, Monday, let me see. No, oh, yeah, but you are here. Okay, yes, thank you, teacher. 
you have the minutes. Aquí están agregados los minutos. Don't worry. And Thank you. Here. No problem. Yes. Eh, remember that. Eh, aquí yo paso la asistencia, pero después ellos bajan la el Zoom. Les da mm. el, el total de minutos que han estado. Entonces siempre aparece aquí después aquí en la lista. Ok. So, no problem. Okay, good. No problem. Okay, people. So then, uh, remember the uh, the the use right of this uh, One more minute and then we go. Just want to show you this. Okay, this when you say try to keep uh keep closed. Remember this one a, a little quickly. Try to keep it close to protect the screen, right? So that would be, for example, laptop computer. So what are they talking about, right? Try to keep it closed to protect the screen, laptop computer. Don't forget to write down your secret code. That is an alarm system, okay? You have alarm system. Here you have, uh, remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. So that is also the alarm system that you have to turn off, okay? Then uh, on Monday, we're going to continue and finish these three exercises. The other one is a reading. Okay. And we are going to do section three. We're going to have more time to, to have some practice. And on next Thursday, we are going to have uh, the midterm exam, right? You have to do the midterm exam. And okay. then we will be complete. Don't forget to complete the rest of the platform so that you are, you know, updated. Yeah, and just because, just because you are good students, nice people, I will give you one extra day to rest, okay? Tomorrow you will be free. No classes tomorrow. Okay, you see, I'm a good teacher. I'm going to make an effort for you not to come tomorrow. Okay, so mm -hmm. you're going to have a three days, you know, three days off. But next week, if you don't if you don't come to class, then we're gonna have classes on Friday, okay? But if you are good, <laughs> then I'm gonna give you the extra day. Okay, people. So it was very nice to be with you this week. Have a very nice weekend. Study, read in English, watch movies in English, and yeah. try to keep your English alive, right? So that this sacrifice that you are making in this moment, make it work, okay? Make it count. Bye bye. Okay. Have a good, have bye. a good night. Good nice weekend. Be bye good. Everyone. Bye, nice bye, weekend. Bye, everybody. Okay. Thank you.